What's up everyone, my name is Soren Iverson. I'm a product designer at Cash App. Today, I'm going to show you how to design and prototype an interactive toggle component in Figma. Let's dive in. The first thing we're going to do is create a new frame. We'll make this 56 by 32 pixels high, and we'll give it a light gray fill. Let's zoom in on that. Let's also create a circle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add two pixels of padding on the top left and bottom sides. So we'll make this four pixels smaller, and then push it over like this. Let's take this frame and we're gonna up the rounding. This is completely around. Let's name this off. We're going to change this fill color to white and then we're going to add a slight drop shadow. Let's make this one pixel Y offset, a two pixel blur, and then we'll reduce the opacity to about let's say 8%. Now that we have that, let's go down here. We'll duplicate this. We'll call this on, and this will be the on state of the toggle. We'll right align this, push the two pixels from the side. Let's change the color of this fill. I'm going to use the same purple that was used in the title slide of this video. Now on the left sidebar, you can see I have the on and off states of this, but I need to make them a component. What I'm going to do is select both of these layers, go up here, click create component set, then I'll go to this right sidebar and I'll rename this toggle. Below that, you'll notice I have a property that's on or off. Let's call this state. Now, if I take this component and duplicate it, I have state, I have on or off. Because this component is a Boolean value, I'm able to easily toggle it on and off rather than clicking into a drop down and changing the state. Now that I have my components, I want to prototype them. I'll select this, go over to prototype, I'll hover over this component and there will be a little blue circle here. I'll click that and drag it to their component. Say on tap, change to state. I'm going to change this to smart animate. By default, it'll be 300 milliseconds. I'm actually going to change this to 150 so it feels a bit snappier. I'm going to click this, drag it over, on tap, change to state, smart animate. And because I just did this other animation at 150 milliseconds, it's going to remember that and automatically add that value. Let's test this out. I'm gonna create a new frame, size of an iPhone. So let's make that 375 by 812 pixels. We'll give some monitor grid background just so the component stands out. I'll take this component, I'm gonna center it within this frame. I'm gonna add this as a flow starting point. I have my prototype view here. If I toggle this, quickly switches between off and on. Because I prototyped the components that I'm using over here, if I go over to my prototype view, even if I have multiple instances of this component, I won't need to prototype them. They'll all inherit the values in the component. This is really nice when you're working with large complex design systems and you're doing a lot of animation and heavy prototyping. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you now have a better understand of how toggled components work and how to create and prototype them to use in your designs. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Soren, and I'll see you in the next video.